Hey guys, welcome back to another week of Ladder Up. Now, this is strange. It's very strange because, as you can see from one of my prior videos, uh, the 2016 rules, as in the rules for the upcoming season, this season, but the new year, have been announced already. It's a whole different format. So, actually, what we've been doing is only valid for another week or so. So, I decided I'm going to use a team that I've kind of been playing around with in my head for a while. I don't think it's that good, but. I think it can be a lot of fun. It's got a really cool gimmick to it that I don't think I've ever seen before. So I want to try it. And hopefully you'll like it. And if you want me to do some VGC 2016 stuff before the new year, let me know and I'll get to it. In the meantime, I'm going to focus on this because I'm selfish and I want to see this team work. So hopefully we'll be able to, you know, get in there and do a little bit of work. I don't know if we'll win and I don't really care. I'm just excited. So I probably should have done all this beforehand, and where's it, in, blah, blah. yeah, in party. So that battle box is not anything important, but we're in party team. Now you can see, it's very interesting. Oh, actually, we, we have a pretty decent rating. So, the idea behind this team, you have Salamence and Sylveon and Aurorus. Now, Aurorus obviously being an unusual choice, most people just use it for Hyper Voice, that ice type, refrigerated uh, Hyper Voice. You know, it's like Sylveon's Pixelate, or Salamence's Aerolate. Except refrigerate it makes it normal moves, ice type moves. So the cool thing about this team is the move round. Now, if you haven't seen the move round, it is a 60 base power special special type normal move. If but in a double battle or triple battle, if you use round and then an adjacent ally also uses round in the same turn successfully, basically the second person goes immediately after the first and it does twice the damage. What that means is with someone like Max Speed Salamence, which outspeeds lots of stuff, he can get a base 60 power uh, air light boosted uh, round off, and then Sylveon can immediately attack with a 120 base power pixelate boosted round, which does a lot of damage, believe me. And I want to be able to use it, but I don't know if it's going to be able to. I don't know if it's going to happen here, because Thunderous is a problem. Uh, this is actually Choice Scarf Tyranitar, so... Uh, to help the, well, just, you know, sand, Choice Scarf, Tarantar, and Salamence, to, Mega Salamence together are always good. Uh, the sand helps boost Aurorus in terms of special defense. Uh, the Aurorus has a Lumberry, because there's also a Trick Room option in this team. Uh, safety Goggles, Entei. So, I think, hmm, <laughs> how do I want to deal with this? I think Salamence is probably good. Honestly, I'm just, I'm thinking Salamence and Aurorus, maybe? Yeah, I kind of want to do that. I want to see this thing work. I want to see this thing work. I don't know how it's going to go, but I'm going to try it. And, uh, so I want Entei or Cresselia. I don't think Tyranitar is that good here. How do I beat the Amoongus? I can beat the Amoongus. Cresselia... I can toxic the Milotic. I can toxic everything. Yeah, you know what? We're going to try it, because I want to see it work. I've never actually seen this work in battle before, so hopefully it works okay. And I got a new camera, a new uh, webcam, and I've got a whole lighting situation. Hopefully I don't look like a ghost, but you should be able to see my face a little bit clearer now. So hopefully you all don't realize just how ugly I actually am. So we've got Kangaskhan and Mungus. That's not bad. It's not bad. Entei would have been good here. Entei would have been great here. And, uh, yeah. So, the thing is... Basically, I'm kind of forced here to Mega Evolve and Double Protect. Because I need to be certain I outspeed Kangaskhan. The Amoongus is not going to want to stay in here. I kind of actually... You know what? Do I outspeed? Yeah, I definitely outspeed. I kind of want to go for it. Do I? No. Because I don't think this is going to do as much damage. I don't think it's going to do as much damage. No, he's going to—he's going to—he's going to fake out. He's not going to low kick, is he? Okay, actually, you know, what? I'm going to play a bit aggressively here. I'm going to go for a hyper voice, and you know what? I kind of want to go for. No, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go for a hyper voice here. And I think he's going to spore into here. I'm just gonna, you know what? Let's just double hyper voice. I'm bad at this game. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I don't really know. This is the very first time I've played with this team. I think you might want to fake out Salamence to try and spore, which is 
uh, spore the uh, Aurorus. Or he might try and fake it out, or he might just go for a low kick. But if so, then I can do a lot of damage to the Amoongus and I can get Sylveon for free. It's not the worst thing. Oh, he just lets me do whatever I want. So I, I could have rounded there. Could have rounded there. Oh, it's a crit on the Amoongus. Let's say they did a lot of damage. Aurora should be able to do, live this. It does. Which is nice. Uh, a Sucker Punch is going to be a problem from the Kangaskhan. I think I can live one. I think I can live one. Should be able to. It actually does a lot more damage to the Kangaskhan than I thought it would from the Aurorus. So, Amoongus is gone, which is good. Amoongus is very annoying, but now he's got a plus two Kangaskhan. Plus one Kangaskhan. And Terrakion. I do, however, outspeed the Terrakion. I believe. Yes, I do outspeed the Terrakion. So now, what I kind of want to do is I kind of want to round the Kangaskhan and round the Terrakion. He won't see that coming. I don't think. Ice is new. No, Ice is not good against the Terrakion. I gotta do something about the Kangaskhan. You know what? He's probably just going to. Oh crap! Okay, I, I just messed up. I meant to round the Kangaskhan and do the other thing to the Terrakion, but I don't know what just happened. I totally screwed up. It's not paying attention. That's probably not even gonna knock out. It does. So actually, uh, Aurorus is gonna get, be able to get an attack off here. It's not gonna do a whole lot. That does way more than I thought. Oh, Salamis goes down. But hey, I've gotten rid of two of his Pokemon. Wow. I think this is a good time to bring out Cresselia. This is a great time to bring out Cresselia and to set up Trick Room. Holy cow! Oh my goodness! That's nuts! I didn't think it would do that much damage. And he has my Lodic. He has my Lodic. I can win this. I can easily win this. Nothing he can do to stop me from setting up Trick Room. Nothing. He, I mean, he's got to hope for a Rock Slide flinch. And you know what? If you get a Rock Slide flinch, then you're better than me. So luckily, the thing that I thought was going to happen, or the thing that I wanted to happen, is actually what I picked. I freaked out because I, I, I meant to back... I always like when I'm not sure or I'm talking and lose track. I like to back up my train of thought and re, re put everything in so I know what I'm doing. And I messed it up, but it ended up working out. It's all good because I don't like this right here. But now, I'm, I'm good to just go helping hand hyper voice. Helping hand hype, the most hyper of voices. Now... I don't know how much it's going to do to the uh, Milotic, but I really don't care. If Milotic gets a Scald off onto my uh, Roris, then I can bring in Sylveon and just single target Helping Hand Hyper Voice to do a butt-ton of damage. Is that Moranga? That's actually a problem. But no, no it's not, because I can Toxic the Milotic. Okay, now I'm free to... Toxic the Milotic and Freeze Dry the Milotic. That's why we have Freeze Dry on here. Oh, he just gives up. Okay, so fantastic first game for this cheeky team of mine that I, I kind of like. I like it, guys. I, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I'll tell you why I'm a fan. Here's the cool part about this team, okay? Is that it gives you... I love different kinds of speed control. I love uh, throwing people off their guard when you think, oh, my thing's gonna outspeed, I'll knock this out, this will happen, boom. If I can disrupt that, and disrupt your plan, and get a free knockout when you don't expect it, it could turn a lot of momentum in my favor. Now, something slow like Sylveon or Aurorus, you think, oh, I can survive the attack from the Salamence, I can outspeed the Aurorus and knock it out, or I can outspeed the Sylveon and knock it out. Well, with Round, using them in the same turn, it's a super powerful combination that allows the Sylveon to just completely supersede the rest of the speed tier. So, you can hit into a Kangaskhan with a round from Salamence, do a good chunk, and then you can just blast it with a Pixelate round from Sylveon. It just does a ton of damage, and I love it. And the cool thing is it also works in Trick Room. So, Sylveon or Aurorus, next to Salamence in Trick Room, they get their round off first. Now, Salamence goes immediately afterwards. So, even though Salamence is super fast in Trick Room, it can still fire off a single target 
120 base power air late boosted round. I think it's cool. I love it. It's my little like baby team idea thing that I came up with and I'm happy with it. So that's going to be it for today guys. I don't want to bore you too much with uh, ladder up stuff because I know this is VGC 2015. You don't want to see that. You probably want to see 2016 but I could not end the season without playing this team. So this week I'm going to play this team. I might play it next week but I'm going to get some VGC 2016 stuff. It's going to happen. Going to happen. So have yourselves a great day and I hope to see you tomorrow on another episode of Ladder Up. Yeah, you know what? I'm not going to say all the stuff I always say about liking and subscribing. I say it too much. And you guys are awesome. So see you tomorrow on another episode of Ladder Up.